Thanks for joining me. This is Danny, and welcome back to my modded 1.12.2 series. Today we're going to be doing a build, and this is going to be kind of a transportation hub for uh, what we're going to be doing in the next episode, which is playing around with RF Tools Dimensions. So what I've got in mind is using this space here. As you can see, we're kind of building toward a village <laughs> off in this direction. And my eventual plan with this is to have almost like a... To, to extend on this village and connect the village to our um, like farming area over here and make this almost like a little tourist strip. Um, so what I want to do right here is have kind of a transportation hub that's going to look a little bit like a train station. Um, so <laughs> something I've done similar builds like this in the past in my Infinity series. And of course I've done some train stations in my, in my Realtek series. But this is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a little closer to the... Infinity series. So it's going to be long and it's going to have little kind of cubbies along the way that are going to go to various places throughout our world. So the first thing I want to do is kind of flatten out this area. So as you can see, the um, elevation goes up two blocks here, but then it comes down two blocks again over here. So I'm going to flatten this area out and then we're going to talk about materials and what kind of blocks we're going to use for the build. So I've been playing around with a couple of different palettes, and I think that I'm going to go with something like this. So kind of a traditional red brick. This is actually red stain bricks from Random Things. I mixed in a couple of vanilla bricks. I think that texture has changed from cork or something, but <clears throat> um, just to see what that would look like to give it a little bit of extra texture. But I like the deep red bricks from Random Things. And then I've got some living wood planks as a trim around <laughs> like windows this doesn't represent like the shape i'm going to use this is just i'm putting a bunch of blocks together to see how they're going to look together and then up here i've got limestone from chisel and again i have some living wood bricks i mean <laughs> living wood planks that are kind of an accent block so what i'm thinking is that the main build is going to be made out of this brick and then we're going to have some kind of like extensions or whatever uh, on the top <laughs> with pitched roofs and all that that are going to be like this. So kind of similar to what I did over here with the house where we've got, you know, kind of like these extra little pieces, like a Tudor, Victorian Tudor style kind of thing. Um, I want to do something similar, somewhat similar to that, um, but using these blocks. Now the red, brick, the red brick is something that we haven't been using anywhere, so this is going to be a completely uh, different than every, anything that we've done around here. But then this limestone and living wood will kind of bring everything else in, so I, I think that'll work.
Our transportation hub is ready. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So as you can see, I did a lot of chisels and bit work um, for the details. I did leave the blocks the same inside and outside. I've got some Alice's doors here. These are custom doors that I made um, in the door factory. Basically, it's living wood as the frame, and then I just used glass. It's just vanilla glass as the middle part. Um, in retrospect, I think I would have used the uh, streaks glass from chisel. Might be a little, I don't know. I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it that way because it kind of distinguishes itself from the windows. But yeah, there, there's that. This is the interior. So the, oh, I have one little <laughs> imperfection to fix there. But this is the interior. Um, as you can see, I left the interior walls brick. Um, I do, <laughs> I usually end up doing different patterns for the interior as the exterior, but I actually really liked the look of this. So it has almost kind of a, uh, remodeled a, a modern remodeling of an old building kind of look with the uh, exposed bricks on the inside and then i've got the staircase from deco craft which is made in the deco bench with multiple little parts and then the platform on the top and then this is kind of an upstairs area i've got some lanterns from immersive engineering it's an oddly shaped building which is w what i was going for like i said i was going for kind of a Tudor style, um, which is kind of a, like a post-Victorian style build. And then this room is kind of a, a little sunken room. So the way this is going to be set up is our little platforms, or actually we're going to have a bunch of um, matter transmitters over here. So this is how we're going to get places. And I may have it set up where there's kind of booths, so I may have this room kind of sectioned off with like little walls sticking out. Um, when we get to that, that'll be in the next episode, we'll be working with RF Tools Dimensions. So we'll have a whole bunch of different destinations set up in here, kind of just for fun. I mean, of course, we can always use our charge porter to get everywhere. Um, <laughs> but this is just going to be a nice physical place that we can go to. I don't actually plan on doing any rail, any like rail transport in this world at all. So we're not really going to use this um, as a train station. <laughs> but we just went, I just went with a train station look. This was inspired by a few different real world train stations. I kind of mixed a few different styles together. Um, one of them is the Flagstaff train station. And then the other, the Kingswood train station in Surrey, England. But I looked at a lot of different train stations and kind of mixed some different styles together. That's what I usually do when I do Minecraft builds. I kind of look at a bunch of different real world stuff. And, and then just take what I like and what I think would look good in Minecraft and, and put it all so together. So like I said, I did a lot of chisels and bits work. These windows are completely um, custom chisels and bits. They're very similar to the windows that I did in the, um, in the industrial farm build, where except with this I used clay. These are um, the streaked glass from chisel and then living wood planks. We have a lot of living wood planks here from Botania living wood planks for this little platform or this little uh, patio or whatever you want to call it. Um, and this is all living wood planks. And, and then this trim up here is all living wood planks as well. And basically I just took the bits and I used the uh, drawn region for this. So... So you hold down the Alt key, you get all your different options. I selected Drawn Region, and then I just click and drag to get my um, whatever I want. So that was the trim. Now this, this I just basically made that manually, um, and then I used a design, a chisel design to copy it everywhere. <laughs> this is just a completely custom little design up there that it doesn't mean anything. I, the S could be for Cyranus, I suppose, um, since we're playing the Cyranus pack. And then, of course, we have our wedges. This is There's two different patterns here. There's the top wedge, as you can see. And that is just, basically, it's just a block that I cut at a diagonal um, using the line. So I just broke, broke away a line going diagonal, and then I used the connected plane to cut out everything above that line. So, and then I did the patterns. And then of course this I added manually using a drawn, drawn region so that we could have that 
the uh, limestone. This is limestone. Limestone is a pretty nice block. This is using the chis the limestone from the chisel mod. Um, Quark also has adds limestone to the game, and they are interchangeable using the uh, chisel. But I like the chisel one. It looks a lot like sandstone in Minecraft, but a little bit different. I think it looks a little nicer than sandstone. Um, and of course, the biggest challenge is always these angles, which. What I usually do for these is I'll use a chisel design and like, so for instance, I'll use this design and I'll place, I'll place that design somewhere, hold down the L key, I do placement and I'll do that. And then I'll go to additive and then I'll add the design to it. And then we can see we've got the corner. Um, and we can't see the bottom part. In this particular build, I put another layer. I don't always do this, but um, I actually have the ceilings are two blocks thick. We had plenty of space up there, so I didn't. I wasn't really worried about <laughs> that. In fact, in some places, I just flattened the ceiling. Um, up there, I have it raised because we've got some natural light coming in from our little dormers. So what we're going to do in the next episode is this is probably going to be like my workspace. So this would be kind of where the uh, where the maintenance guys will work or where the uh, um, people would work <laughs> at the station, so we're gonna have all of our our dialing device and all the other stuff that we're gonna need to build our dimensions while I'll be in this area, or maybe upstairs. I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this space up here yet. Um, and then I just left this open as kind of a viewing area, but mostly so that we can just get in and out quickly that way, because um, you know we can fly, so we don't really have to use the stairs. Um, and then, like I said, we're going to have like kind of platforms over here. And I might do something fun and interesting, like have some little decorations around each platform that kind of signify where it's going to go. I did that in my Infinity series when I built a very similar rail station to this one. Um, slightly different style and everything. But, but this one, I, I got to do a lot more detail work with this one because of chisels and bits. Because obviously in Infinity and 1.7.10, we didn't have chisels and bits. We just had micro blocks which you know allowed me to do a certain amount of detail work but the stuff I can do with chisels and bits is just amazing it's so much more <laughs> chisels and bits is such a powerful mod I really love it as as you may know as you may know if you've seen me do this because I always start out these builds saying well I'm just gonna do a little bit of chisels and bits for trim and stuff and then I end up kind of over going overboard but I actually think I did a pretty good job of minimizing the use of chisels and bits and just using it to enhance the build instead of you know, like with the house where almost every single block in the house is chisels and bits. So, of course, let me know what you think. I'm interested in, in your opinion or if you have any other ideas of other builds I can do in the future. Like I said, um, I'm going to kind of make this a tourist strip. I'm heading into the town over here, into the village. And then I might even eventually do some building in the village and kind of make the roads a little bit more, um, I don't know, interesting and, and stuff. Some of the materials that I ended up using that I didn't talk about in the beginning... This, the roof is made out of um, seared bricks from Tinker's Construct. So it's the small seared bricks. So basically, I just dumped a bunch of cobblestone in the smeltery, and I set up a little bit of automation over there to um, <laughs> bring it out. I've got a redstone clock and a, t and a couple of hoppers under these casting basins. Um, it looks like we're <laughs> we drained it all to make these this seared stone and then you can just use the chisel with the seared stone to select any of the options and the option that I used was a small seared brick which makes a nice ceiling tile I mean makes a nice roof tile and the floor in here is light grain stay light gray stained planks from quark and that's basically just any wood plank um, surrounded by gray dye and a crafting grid will get you this stuff. Basically the same way that you would do um, clay. Uh, I really like the way it looks with the brick. I don't like the way it looks <laughs> with the uh, limestone. So like this room, th they kind of yell at each other a little bit. It's kind of a bold contrast or a, I don't know, it's a it's a shady contrast. So, but I'm gonna keep it for now. I, I, might, I might either swap it out at some point or maybe make these interior walls out of like marble or something that would look so if better. If you have any questions, comments, ideas, whatever, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy this, don't forget to click the like button and join me next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.